To get some interesting tech tutorials and hacks, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Subscriptions are always free. Also check out my blog at techdjday.blogspot.in wherein I have posted some really interesting tech tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. Hello everybody and in this video tutorial I am gonna be showing you what is teganography. I'll be covering the definition and also I'll be covering a short practical at the end of the video. So if you are extremely interested in the practical then you can click the timestamp appearing in the description but I urge you to watch the whole video all the way till the end. So without wasting much time let's get started. So what is steganography? Steganography is the method of hiding a file inside another file. Basically it is the art of hiding a message or a file inside any photograph, song or video. For example you have a video in your in your computer or in your mobile phone that has some secret and you don't want it to be disclosed among other people so you can what you can actually do is hide that video or photograph inside uh, inside another photograph or any other file so when the person will see that file we will see the normal photograph but you won't see the hidden contents inside it it will just see it will just see as if it is the normal photograph whereas it whereas it has some secret files hidden inside it so it is primarily used to send confidential information to someone hidden inside a normal file this it is mainly used by terrorists intelligence agencies etc terrorists basically use it to send messages to their colleagues as to where the next attack will be intelligence agencies uh, communicate with each other uh, the members of the intelligence agencies communicate with each other using this method so that if anybody intercepts the uh, email or message in between this in uh, by any third party then that message can't be seen the by those people and there are many tools that let us perform technography such as house technography this is a very popular tool house technography but i'm not gonna be using any tool for the practical that i am going to show you I'll use a built-in feature of Microsoft Windows, so stay tuned. But it's always better to avoid the popular ones and design your own tool. Yes, it is always better better to avoid the popular ones because everybody will know how to use a popular software. But uh, if a pop software is less known or if a pop uh, less software is less popular, then it will not be common among uh, many people, and people will not find it easy. To use and privacy will be maintained as well for example if you have designed your own technography tool then you can use it uh, to communicate with your friends or whoever you want to send the message to if anybody intercepts that message in the middle they can't use any third party tool to actually reveal the secret files hidden inside those photograph song or video now coming to the practical for this first you need the to open up the command prompt this is the command prompt and let me just adjust the screen size a little bit okay and also I'll be opening up my C drive let me just adjust this one as well all right now just have a look at the number of files that I have over here Basically, there are many folders F, INET, PUB, PUB, Logs, Program Files, x86, Users, Windows, Recovery. So, just keep a note of all these files, alright? Now, you can see in the command prompt, I am in the C colon backslash users backslash Dhruvajati there directory. So, I'll move to the uh, C directory. So, I'll type CD, change, which stands for change directory space C colon backslash and press and enter I am in the C directory which is this directory itself this is the GUI version this is the CLI version alright now let's clear the screen now I'll create a folder over here using the command prompt so what I'll type is mkdir which stands for make directory directory is basically a folder space any folder name space let's say test and press and enter you will see a folder will appear as you can see over here a folder has appeared now we'll move to that folder so we'll type cd space test 
and press and enter I am in the test directory also I'll be moving from here as well I am in the test directory as you can see I don't have any file over here there is no file in test directory now what I'll type is notepad which is basically the notepad text editor notepad.exe space any file name any text file I'm giving it my name itself and after you have typed this press and enter and it will ask you that whether you want to create a text file or not to which you will reply yes and here just type in a type in the normal content all right and which is not confidential any random content let me type in here please subscribe my channel and once done let's click on file save file exit and as you can see the text file has appeared if I double click on this file I'll see this content itself please subscribe my channel also I can view it from here I'll type in type space the file name which is drupal.txt and press and enter and it says that please subscribe my channel alright now I'll create another text file and I'll hide it inside this text document what I'll do is type in here notepad dot exe space drugo dot txt oops and I'll type in a colon without any space and then the name of the text file in which the confidential content will be stored let's type in here confidential confidential.txt you can give it any other name you want it is always better to choose a name which has small letters capital letters numbers and special characters and press and enter and it will ask you that whether you want to create a file or not to which you will reply yes and here type in the confidential content for example my facebook password is 987654321 this is not my facebook password i'm just gi giving it for demonstration purpose only and once done click on file save file exit now where is that file where is the confidential.txt file as you can see the file is not present over here i can just max i can maximize the window and show you no file if you go to the properties of this file you won't be able to see it where it's not present under the security as well it's not present you can't see that file it's hidden inside it only forensic department can de detect it although there are tools that can detect it as well but forensics can detect it very easily now as you can see uh, the file is hidden inside it if I go to view and type in here show hidden files still you can't see it if I refresh the page still you can't see it the only way to view that file itself is by going to the command prompt and again typing typing in this command notepad.exe space robo.txt colon confidential dot txt and once done press and enter and as you can see the hidden file has appeared if you type in here only Note, uh, notepad.exe drupal.txt you will only be able to see the main content the content of this text file drupal.txt but if you type in uh, notepad.exe space drupal.txt along with the colon confidential.txt or the file name that you have chosen then you will get to see the confidential content so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please like comment share and subscribe and bye for now